Oh, oh, and 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 what is what is this? Oh wow, look at this awesome tea I have, and whoa, look it's it's loose leaf tea also, and <laughs> there's fruit in it. Whoa, and it smells really good. Cheerio, flower. Fancy a cup of tea. tea. This is a Senva. Rockin'. Caramello. And this is BJD Tea Time Talk. <laughs>Alrighty, so for today's BJD Tea Time Talk, we're going to be just talking about random stuff just as we normally do, but Rockin had some ideas on some questions to talk about. So we're going to be talking about weird experiences with other doll owners, and I think Rockin has an interesting story for us. So, I was at an anime convention, and I was sitting around with my friends, and I had my big doll He's like 72 centimeters, and he's just standing in the middle of our group. And this old guy comes over, and he's like, Wow, I really like your doll. And like, what kind of mold is, you know, asking all those, the, the usual questions. But then he kept, like, stopping in the middle of his sentences. And um, we were all staring at him, and he's like, Oh, I'm sorry. I'm like, wasted. <laughs> and I was like, okay. <laughs> and then he's like, so are you going to the doll meet later? And I was like, maybe. <laughs> Mm. And it was just so weird because he kept repeating how wasted he was. And mm. I was like, please go away. You know, in mm. my head. So my weird experiences with other doll owners was also at a convention. And I had a gentleman that had a doll as well. And we were waiting in line for autographs or something. And so he kind of turns to me and he's like, can you hold her? And I thought it was really odd because I wasn't... I was barely learning about BJDs at the learning about BJDs at the time, and so it was really awkward to hold it because I wasn't used to like being around BJDs. So it was weird because he just handed it to me awkwardly, and I kind of stood there. But then I think about it now, and I'm just like, wow, you would really give your doll to like a random person to hold, really? So, Caramelo, what are your weird experiences with other doll owners? I'm just here for the tea. So our next set of stories are basically inconsiderate people around dolls. Um, and once again, Rockin actually has a really good story for us. I usually sell some stuff at a table at one convention. And I usually have my doll sitting on the table or standing to showcase like the jewelry that I make for them. And I have signs that clearly say, "Do please do not touch dolls. And I hate the people that come over and like touch their face especially. They're like, mm. and they touch their face and I'm like, please don't touch. And this one girl this year, she came over and I had my girl standing by one of the frames and she's kind of fickle sometimes. She doesn't like to stand very easily, especially sit. So when I get her to stand, I really need her to not be touched or else she'll fall over. So, and I have a sign that says, do not touch. And this girl comes over and she touches her wig, like, right about here. And then she goes like, nyer, 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 nyer. and I was like, <laughs> and I look at her, I'm like, don't touch. <laughs> and she just looks at me and walks away. And I'm like, what? really now? <laughs> So I really don't have any inconsiderate stories that have occurred to me. My dolls have not been tortured yet since they're still fairly new. Oh, wait a minute. I do. So it's not really inconsiderate. It's more like odd and disturbing. I'll come home randomly and Kai will have weird ornaments put upon him without me knowing. So. I'll leave my house with Kai looking normal, and then when I come home, Kai will look really odd. Da. You need to look at this. <laughs> He's terrorized right now. Yeah, he kind of 
And he's like, no, don't look at me. Yeah, he does not want to be I seen. I actually didn't even mean to put him like that. <laughs> yeah, he probably did that. Just, just naturally like, ashamed. Naturally ashamed. I guess that's as far as my limit goes for inconsiderate doll people or people who don't consider it my dolls. I And at, at that, I really, it's not bad. She doesn't do anything bad to them. It's just that I always come home and they just look really weird. So. <laughs> We're getting delusional over time. I think it's a good time to stop. The unicorn. I will, I will see you later in our next BJD Tea Time talk. And uh, hope you guys have a fantastic day. Bye. It's right. <laughs> We're enjoying it, so. I spill it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I guess I'm gonna stop it. I am like, go away. I want you to make a manga out of my BJDs. And I was like, really? Mrs. Doll Owner? And she was like, yeah, I want you to make a manga out of my BJDs. You did some fan art for me, and I really like the fan art, so do some manga for it. And I was like, no, I'm not gonna do some fan art for you. And then she's like, "Yeah, I'll pay you a dollar." And that's how I met Senba. <laughs> My hick accent. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Do it. Do wait, it. wait, the wait. recorder doing what it. What should I do? What Is it already recording? <laughs> <laughs>